Hello. Hi. Hi, Mr. Fong. Oh, Hi. you again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's me again. Oh, you have many questions. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, I see a lot of words, a lot of chemical structures. Uh -huh. So, one question, mm. or maybe more. Yeah. What is this? Oh, okay. This is the amine group, right? Mm -hmm. So, amines is present in a lot of seafood. Mm. We have uh, nitrogen singly bonded to hydrogen. Mm. So, that's a chemical shift in this zone of the animal spectra. I see. So, what is the difference between this and this? Because I see an N over here too. Ah, I see. This is the amide bond, right? That's mm -hmm. present in proteins, something natural, or nylon, that's man-made, kind mm. of polymer. So, amide, these two differences is mainly the presence of a CO double bond mm. here. This CO. N H right, mm. and because C O is electron withdrawing, mm. it has a bit of deshooting effect. That's why you see the proton here is a bit more downfield compared mm. to that of an amine. So I see this thing called aromatics. Does that mean I can smell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It came from English, right? Or Latin. The aromatics has mm -hmm. aroma, right? It means it's fragrant. Mm -hmm. Now, in chemistry terms, right, it has a very specialized meaning. Mm. It tells us that that molecule normally has a benzene ring, mm -hmm. it's a hexagon with alternating pi bonds, that's aromatic. Mm. So benzene is aromatic, if you have a metal benzene, it's also called aromatic because mm. it's a certain smell which might not be pleasant to everybody, but at least it shows some fragrance. Okay, then what about this? Ah, this is what we call, um, in short, tro. Okay, tro, mm. not the surname in Korea, mm. but um, the terminal hydrogen of a carbonyl group. So this is an aldehyde, an aldehyde, and the proton here is very deshielded because of again the existence of the CO double bond. Mm. And you notice and understand by now that the aldehyde proton should be more downfield mm. than that of a amide mm. because it's closer to the proton than here. Mm. Make sense? Yes. So there is two O here. Mm -hmm. What does this? Mean. Ah, this is the two O's, right? Double mm. O, right? That's the carboxylic acid. We know that in NMR, when you have more electronegative elements or electron withdrawing groups mm. nearby the protons, mm -hmm. you get more dishu. That means mm. right, the proton is a bit more naked and susceptible to the external magnetic field. Mm. That's why here you see one of the largest chemical shift around. Mm, okay, I think I've asked you a lot. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs>